town would be child care, uh, home, you know, replacement and things of that nature, uh, maybe even welfare to a degree and things of that nature. Uh, the issues that we face. You right. Know. Yeah. No. I, again, I, I think you, you shouldn't even wait till you're called upon. You know, if there are issues, and I mean, that's why you're elected is to um, forward an idea. Sure. And and, sure. and 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 embrace an idea and and run with it and 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 use it and and get the people behind you. Sure. So um, uh, that's the responsibility of being a politician. That's the responsibility of being a politician from the community that you're from. That you're from, absolutely. Because if you want to talk about something else, you need to be from another... Well, yeah. You, 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 you yeah. can't represent... <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. you know. Whatever are the issues in your communities, those you should be well-versed in. You should represent your view of sure, that. They sure. may not be everybody's opinions. Sure. Uh, but you really should actively engage in those issues. Yeah, because I, I you know, I, I go to different segments and, and, I, and I hear things and sometimes I, I wonder, you know, I, as I listen to some of the politicians talk and I say, well, you know, if they don't call you or if they don't discuss this problem with you, who are they going to do? Right. You can't call right. Ghostbusters, you know what I mean? Right, again, yeah, I don't know the specifics, but, yeah. but generally speaking, yeah, absolutely, you, you, need to, you, you know, need I, it, yeah. I think so, and, and it's important, you know, yes. that people understand where the leadership of a community is, you know, from a political point of view, which direction they're headed. Yes, and that's, that's very important. Right. Do we have any new projects coming up, Rashi? Well, uh, let, let me tell you, on the City Council next year, we are going to um, do things a little different. Uh, one is... Um, one of the things that I've always asked um, of uh, the council and myself is, you know, let's make the government more transparent. Let's okay. let's make the government open to more people. Sure. Um, and so we're going to do our uh, council meetings on uh, on cable seventy four. Oh, so that's you wonderful. Will, yes. You know, they're they're dreadfully boring. So if you ever can't sleep, you may want to watch some of our council meetings. But at least what it does is it, it allows you to see what we're doing. Yes. It allows you to engage, if not directly, then more, in a more passive way. But at least you can watch us. And you can, from that, hopefully, you will call your council people and say, "Hey, I saw this, but I don't understand this." Yes. So, look, I'm hoping that that becomes a trigger for more people to uh, be engaged in the process. Um, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to pick one council meeting each season. So, one in winter, one in spring, one in summer, and one in fall. We're going to have those meetings in the neighborhood. So okay. we're going to bring the council to you. If oh, you that's wonderful. To the council, so hopefully you will, you know, we'll bring the council to you. Okay, okay. And again, as a means of, of, of trying to get more engagement, you know. Um, and, and from that, what, you know, what I'm hoping is people will, even if, you, even if you don't have anything to say, at least just pick up your phone, call the mayor or call your council person and say, hey, I wanted to reach out to you and you're doing a good job, sure, or I have sure, a question sure. on this, or I don't like what you did, but, you know, get engaged. And every day is wonderful. And, and what I find is, in the three years that I've been on the council, almost all of the ideas that I've presented were not mine. Okay. They okay. were from my citizens. Sure, That sure. they brought forth. And, mm. and one of the things I've been surprised at in the three years that I've been on the council is how many good ideas people have. Sure. And so that's why I'm, I'm pushing this, is that a lot mm. of people have very good ideas. Let's not, let's create an environment that allows this dialogue and this exchange of ideas to flourish. I noticed that when I uh, come down in Washington, I mean, watch on Avenue now, that they're doing a facelift to the city hall. Yes, they are. We got a grant for that. So oh. um, it's all grant funded. Wow. Um, and it's in compliance with all historic preservation uh, standards. Oh, okay. Um, so that, that's all getting washed. Um, they're going to get new paint uh, on the parts that are painted, and mm -hmm. so you know, hopefully, late next year, the city hall will look mm -hmm. like with a facelift. We're also doing road construction right now on Kensington Avenue. Sure, sure. The entire Kensington Avenue will get new new curbs, and we'll get a new street. Um, we're also doing uh, Evergreen. There's a whole bunch of streets that we're doing between okay. now and then. We'll stop in the winter and then we'll start again in the spring. Yeah, and the new sewer system, I think they're working on or something like that. Right, right, that's a water company that's doing that. But mm -hmm. yeah, they're, they're flushing out the old system and cleaning it out. So yeah. you're seeing pipes on the street, that's why. Okay, now that's wonderful. Uh, Mr. Marshall, you have anything else you'd like to discuss with the people before we... In. We've got about five more minutes. Well, <laughs> well um, let me just say this. I can be reached at 908-822-2202.
And I also want to couch my comments by letting you know that I am a realtor and a mortgage broker. So okay. I do them all ways, but I do them based on what the client needs. Senior citizens don't need to be entering into regular mortgages. So the alternative is the reverse mortgage. Sure, sure. They don't need to sell their homes to go somewhere else and pay a bill. just doesn't make sense to me. So that's the way we operate. That's what we do. Okay. Go ahead. Let's get that food package out there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, in Angel Food Ministries, the food can be purchased at New Vision Ministries, where Apostle Forrest Walker is the pastor at 504 South Avenue in Plainfield. And the telephone number that can be called is 908-577-7259 or 973-634-8267. And this food values a regular box at $30 and the grocery store is valued at $75. So if you're truly interested, go to New Vision Ministries and someone will be there that will be willing to help you to um, place your order. And also tell them how uh, the different uh, uh, ways that they can pay for the food through Family First. Yes, there's three different ways that you can purchase this food or pay for it. We accept cash, we accept uh, money orders, as well as Family First card. Okay, all right. And, and I, I just want to say, come out and join us when we say no to war and yes to jobs, justice, health care, housing, education, and peace. That's this Saturday at uh, Peter Francesco Park, outside of um, right outside Penn Station in Newark. And then we're going to go over to One Gateway, where um, Menendez and, and Lundberg have their offices. And we want to end the war in Iraq and the war, no war in Afghanistan, oppose military buildup, stop event, prevent any invasion of Iraq. Eliminate nuclear weapons, ban torture, and protect our civil liberties. And so, and dress warm because it's supposed to be cold that day. Well, that's a full <laughs> package, and we're yeah. going to finish up with uh, Councilman Bernie. Are we doing anything in to attract more jobs or companies or something? What can we do? Um, one of the things um, we are doing is um, we've got some development coming into town okay. and so one of the things we're asking is that to the very extent possible the developers use playing field um, um, labor, okay. um, playing field uh, plumbers, playing field electricians, sure. playing field bricklayers, playing field carpenters um, to the highest extent that we can. Um, one of the things we'll be looking at next year is um, doing a study to see what sort of economic um, engines are working in other cities similar to ours sure. um, and, and, and then looking at okay if we figure out what works in other cities we want to start applying that in Plainfield to attract new industry into Plainfield along the uh, railroad corridors and revitalize our industrial base. Oh, that right there would be wonderful. That's something that's really really needed. I, I was reading today, I'm going to go here as I end up, I was reading um, the uh, Ebony Jet magazine, and, and uh, I want everybody to pray for Natalie Cole. She has that uh, hepatitis C. She's uh, lost um, uh, many pounds, I think 10, 15 pounds, and um, her, her kidneys, I think, are functioning at 10%. So if you can, please, uh, you know, uh, get down on your knees and say a prayer for Natalie. I, you know, she seemed like part of the family, you know what I mean? <laughs> You know, and uh, I lost uh, a lot of weight and everything, so if you can, uh, I'll do that right there. And uh, I guess we're going to, Bob, finish up now. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Reverend Zachariah A. Jackson, founding pastor of the church, is happening now. We have a lot of things to talk about. Covered a lot of material in a short amount of time. We try to squeeze it in. Sometimes, you know what? But you know, sometimes they would give us another uh, uh, half an hour, but they go off. That would have been good.